Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia and welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so today we're going to be making sushi. Now, I am not in any way, shape or form claiming to be a expert at this. This is actually my first time. So I'm going to be really just trying to do this very haphazardly and trying to accomplish the best sushi <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my rice. Okay, so the thing is that we're going to be making sushi without sushi rice. Rice is rice, but not every rice is sushi rice. I'm going to say that again. Rice is rice, but not every rice is sushi rice. And today we don't have sushi rice, okay? That's the part of the ordeal that I totally forgot to get. So I'm just like, you know what? Lots of rice. I've got jasmine rice. I've got basmati rice, and have some of this other rice. It's like just extra long gray rice. Um, maybe not the right rice for this, but we're going to we're going to make it, and um, we're gonna see how that turns out. You know, we're just gonna have to try to do something and just go for it. You know. Um, Let's see how this turns out. So I'm just gonna wash my rice real quick. And I like to just give it a few wash, drain it. And this is about a cup and a half of rice and it has that much, maybe just over a cup of butter. I'm going to just put that on the stove right here. And I'm just gonna get that started. While that is beginning to cook, I'm just gonna cover that. And then we're gonna work on all the other ingredients for the sushi. So as you can see over here, I have already gone ahead and made some of this very crunchy sweet potato fries because when I lived in Salisbury, Maryland, there was this really amazing restaurant, which is still one of my favorite restaurants in the world. <laughs> so much um, <laughs> it's called mana and they had a few options on their menu especially for vegans they had the best poke bowls that you can build your own I always build it my own poke bowl and their sushi was always so good so fresh the ingredients taste like there was so much quality in there and they had this sweet potato roll oh my gosh it was so delicious so good so I'm going to make sweet potato roll I'm gonna make avocado roll and then I'm going to make a few like you know like mix and naturals with tofu I'm gonna fry up some rice papers to make some kind of crunchy roll I've got some cucumbers so I'm gonna add that in there as well so I'm just gonna start preparing all the ingredients set them aside and then we are going to make the sushi so just before I get into that I also have some nori sheets and I have this sushi kit that I got from Amazon I haven't opened it so I don't know what's inside, what's in store for me, but we are going to find this out on our own because, oh my gosh, guys, if there's anything else that I love in this world, it's definitely Japanese food. And I love sushi so much, and I had to make sure that I found, I found several places now that serve really good vegan sushi. First place that I found was Mana, and second favorite place right now is the Kuku Vegan Restaurant in North Hollywood. Oh my gosh, everything there is so delicious, and Oh, the owner is so sweet, so nice. I mean, I've spoken to her, like we talk on social media, like I'm such an avid customer that she knows me now and when I go in there, she actually came to give me a hug because I order from there a lot. <laughs> I even actually saw the blueprints of her mural on the side of the building there before it even went up and they kind of like involved me when I was there. I felt so special and so nice. So thank you so much. Gekuku, you guys are amazing. I got free um, boas there. She's just so nice, so sweet. The food is so good, so nutritious. Oh, the best vegan, vegetarian restaurant in fucking California. I said it, I said it, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So my rice is beginning to like cook. So I'm gonna get everything else prepared and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and we're gonna make some sushi. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make good sushi today. Um, let's just do it, do it, do it, do it. 
Okay guys, so so far I've got a few things prepped. I'm gonna show you guys what I got prepped already and we are going to do this together, okay? So let me just grab the camera. Okay, so over here I've got my crispy sweet potato, I've got my avocado, I've got some vegan cream cheese, my nori sheets, my kits over there, I've got some cucumbers, I've got these small slices of medium firm tofu for inside of the sushi. I got these big pieces of sushi just as a side dish because I have to eat this up unless it's gonna go bad. I've got some cornstarch here. I've got some um, rice paper to make a little crispy situation. And we've got our rice over here. Our rice is nice and made. And then we got some coconut oil here. I'm gonna start the fire. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by carefully dipping my tofu into this cornstarch. Just try to coat it nicely so it looks like that. And I'm just gonna do that for all of them. And we're just gonna drop those in there. And you wanna keep a close eye on these because these are going to cook up real fast. Like, so fast, I'm gonna have to turn them real quick. I don't want them to get too dark. I just want them to get nice and crispy. So I've got to keep an eye on those. Keep the fire at a moderate level. I know I'm looking very oily and very greasy right now, but that's the glow. That's the kitchen glow, you know? That's the kitchen glow, darling. Okay, so we need to make like somewhat of a sushi seasoning like concoction. In this concoction, we're going to need some rice wine vinegar, some sugar, and I believe salt. Now I've been watching a lot of sushi making videos on YouTube and I'm not an expert, but I'm trying my very best. So we've got a bowl here. I'm going to add, I'm just gonna eyeball it, honestly. We need to flip for tofu before that burns. Now I have about this much rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. That's about maybe an ounce. And then I'm just gonna eyeball. I eyeball everything. I honestly never really measure anything. I'm just gonna do like maybe one tablespoon. This is a tablespoon of sugar. And then we're just gonna do like a sprinkle and a dash of salt and we're just gonna mix that together nicely and try to get that all dissolved just get these things out of the way because i'm going to then remove my rice from the pot and let it like get some air and then i'm gonna add this mixture to the rice just to get it nice and sticky and just try to dissolve that out and so far i'm a little like proud of myself right now i should taste some myself i haven't made a decent cooking video on this channel in a long time and so when i came back with cooking videos i really wanted it to be really good and i wanted you guys to enjoy it and i was thinking what kind of cooking videos could i successfully make that i would enjoy watching and during this time that i was thinking about that i was fasting what do i like to eat what do i want to share with people and i was like i freaking love sushi let's make sushi Okay, so guys, I didn't get to dissolve all the sugar in here, but the rice is fairly hot, and if I just put it in there, it's going to dissolve anyway. So I'm just gonna like spoon this over and mix it in. And this is, I'm thinking that this concoction makes the rice a little bit sticky, and I'm just gonna like mix it in. Hopefully my rice like, sticks together. I'm hoping that it does. It's not giving me sticky vibes right now, but we are going to try, okay? Sometimes you just have to use what you got to get what you want. <laughs> and this is one of those cases <laughs> where you use what you've got to get what you want. And what I want right now is to make sushi and share that with you guys. So I'm gonna use the resources that I have right here on hand to see if that is remotely possible. So this is smelling very pungent. Um, oh wow, that feels sticky. I can feel the starch in that. I think that's gonna stick well together. I just need that to like, uh... ooh, that is sticky. That is really sticky. So then I'm just gonna add some salt to the. The last thing I'm gonna add is about two rice papers. Turn on my stove because these are pretty thin. And these are gonna fry up real quick. And we're just using water and we're just gonna coat them. 
wet. Then we're gonna fold it in half. And we're literally just trying to just get something else to add it to the sushi. Just, just for fun. That is my knife. Maybe we can cut this in half and just like roll it up like this. Just roll it onto itself. Just to have something nice and crispy. And I think this one is just a little bit too much. So we're gonna cut that one in into that in there. I saw a video where um, this was done in. I think it's from Sophia Chang. I watch her vlogs a lot. I love her vlogs as well as Denim is my girl. I mean, everything about her, I just love. She's so insightful and so aware of herself and she's perfect even in her seemingly self-aware imperfection. Um, I, I feel like she's perfect. She is perfect. So we're gonna do two of those. I just think food all the time. I'm sorry, I think in foods. <laughs> Feed me! <laughs> I don't know what that is all. It's just a part of my personality. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just like to have fun with myself. <laughs> I don't have any friends. <laughs> so I create friends <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> Oh, do you guys like my t-shirt? I thought I would represent Prince today because I fucking love Prince. I grew up listening to Prince on the radio. And it was always about Prince and Michael Jackson for me and um, the silent competition between them. <laughs> oh, people are always trying to pit them against each other and I could feel it before I even understood it. But I love Prince and I love Michael. Michael changed the world. Prince influenced us to be ourselves. So, who do I want to be like? Both of them. I want to do both of those things. If you don't know already, I'm a singer songwriter, actress. <laughs> so now we open up mystery box, okay? And I told you I have lots of imaginary friends because I don't have friends in real life. They're all shit. Okay, maybe not, not all shit, but anyways. Okay. Wow, we've got quite a few things up in here. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow. 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 Okay, so so far we've got this sushi presser tool. Dude, I don't know if I even know how to use this. Wow, what a, what a tool. <laughs> so I'm thinking, um, what do you do? As you can see, I really don't know what I'm doing where these things are concerned. I'm literally winging it, and I suggest that you guys do too. Just wing life. So we got this thing. I'm gonna like wash all of this. Then we got, oh, there's like a instructional in here. I love instructional. We got two, two things. We're gonna wash everything real quick. The mat, oh, we got two mats. Oh, wow, okay, and that's great. I know these are chopsticks because I saw these. These are cute. These are cuter than my car and chopsticks that I get from the restaurant. So that's cute. We've got a sushi knife. Ooh. We've got an avocado cutter. Ooh. And we've got like a kind of brush, spatula-esque brush type thing. So we're just gonna wash all of these real quick. I'm gonna get back to you guys when we're ready to make the sushi. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I've washed everything. I've tested my tool to ensure that it works and I went ahead and I've made some sushi because the last thing I want to do is come in here and look like a fool with my pants on the ground, okay? So I went ahead and I made like one roll, which means the tool is functional, I know how to work it, so now I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm gonna make a few variations of sushi and let's do it together. So let's put that over there. I'm gonna pull you in close so that you can see what I'm doing. So first things first, the tool comes in two pieces like this. It actually comes apart, so you just line up these two edges and make sure that it closes like that because this has 
come off just like one has just been like coming off like that before so just ensure that that's just like on there and then we're gonna fit this into this bracket here first thing we want to do is we want to wet our hands wetting our hands is going to be our best friend working to make like sushi because it's so sticky and it just it's just easier when you wet your hands because then you can just be with the rice real nicely and it's just easier i'm just gonna put rice into this and i know my rice is flying everywhere um don't worry about it sweetheart you know we're gonna just stick that in there wet my hands again and we're just gonna fill that i hope you guys can see what i'm doing so we're just gonna fill this up and then we're gonna make a space like a like a little space in the middle so that we can put our ingredients in there I'm just gonna make a little space in the middle for for filling so now that that's done we are going to grab some tofu i'm gonna put put down two pieces of tofu just stick this piece here we're gonna put down some avocado let's just use avocado put down the avocado if there is background noise in my apartment i apologize it's really hot in here and i don't have ac and i have to keep the fan running i do live in california it gets pretty humid around here so if you guys have heard that in my last video i extremely apologize about that i don't know what to do but i can't turn the fan off because the the sweet potatoes was in the oven prior to this the stove was on it's a tiny apartment the heat travels i'm sorry i apologize i know it can be annoying to hear this very like loud hum sound but please just bear with me i'm going to put a little bit of sweet potato just to have some variation on that crunchy aspect and just because why not and because i want it to like fit in those little places i'm just gonna stick it in those little areas doesn't have to be perfect so the next step into this process is we're just gonna flip this over real quick right and we are going to ensure that that's locked and then we're gonna lock this bit then we're gonna screw this part on until it's locked firmly like so we're gonna turn this until it gets out of that socket we're gonna compress Oh, and it's not out yet. Yes, now it's out. I can feel it. We're gonna compress our ingredients and you see this part starts to like flip out. And so we're gonna rest that for a little bit. I'm gonna clean up my area. Then we're gonna put down our mat. So I went ahead and I put some um, paper wrap on the mat and then I like slit little bits of holes so that it wouldn't compress the air. And I'm gonna put the mat down like this. I'm gonna grab my nori sheet. And I'm going to put the shiny side down. So you, you can see this side's a little coarse and this side's like shiny. I'm gonna put the, si the shiny side down. And for this version, I'm just gonna use some vegan cream cheese. This one is from Tofuhiti. Tofuti? Tofuti. I don't know why I always say Tofuhiti. I, I don't even know. We're just gonna splatter that all over. It's gotten a little soft because it's been out of the refrigerator for a little bit, but that's okay it makes it even easier to spread and so i don't have to fight with it and then tear the nori sheet so that actually works perfectly i'm just going to aim for a thin layer here i did not come here to kill myself i want it to be perfect but it just might taste perfect even if it doesn't look perfect because i tasted a bit of the other ones and oh my gosh it's looks good so that looks good and so we are then going to like we're gonna flip this part off and then we're gonna just squeeze that out like so how perfect is that that looks good Ooh, cool. so now we're going to just roll our tofu now the nori sheet has gotten a little like just shoveled we're just gonna roll this just rolling and pressing Rolling and pressing, rolling and pressing, and just like squeezing it a little bit. And then it came out looking like this. Now this one came out looking a little, a little less attractive than the first one that I did, but it's okay. Um, 
We live and we learn, right? So now I'm just gonna put that to the side. Get this on my cutting board. So now we're just gonna uh, wet our knife. We're gonna cut the, so the tofu in half. Right? Clean the knife again. Just gonna line it up a little bit. And then we're gonna cut it there. Cut that bit off. And then we're gonna cut that in half. Clean the knife again. We're gonna cut here. Get that bit off. We got a clean edge there. We'll clean our knife off again. We're gonna cut this in half. Clean our knife off again. Gotta constantly clean the knife off so that the sushi um, doesn't stick to the knife and goes just goes apart. But you wanna be careful with this. Just take your time and just make your way down so that it just cuts nicely like this one did. So I'm gonna plate up these. I'm gonna make a few more rolls and then I'll be back with you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so my battery was overheating. I'm letting it cool down. So I wanted to show you guys another way of making sushi. You put your rice down flat onto your mat and then you place your nori sheets horse side down. This time I'm going to put this crispy sweet potato in the middle of this and then I'm just going to begin to roll this and to roll that, pressing it as I go. Okay guys, I am back in my kitchen after taking a break. This is what my sushi is looking like. I'm loving how that's looking, so let's do a taste test. My sauce that I put on this, it's kind of melting. It's just a little bit of the oil that we fried everything in. Some soy sauce, some agave nectar, some sugar, and some garlic. So let's do the taste test because all of this is looking so delicious and I can't wait to eat it. So let's try this. The first one I'm gonna try is the, the sweet potato roll. That's really good. <laughs> That's strangely really good when you didn't use sushi rice. I'm going to try the, the cucumber avocado tofu roll. The sauce on this one is my bang bang sauce, which is just vegan mayonnaise, agave, and Tabasco, and a little bit of um, paprika. So good. What I'm gonna try is the avocado cucumber. I think the rice paper is in this one. This one has a front. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. I'm just gonna try one more. I'm gonna try one of my tempura ones. I'm actually just gonna put some of the bang bang sauce on this. Just because I can. Put that much on there. And then let's try this. Oh wow, I wonder if my mouth is big enough to like hoard this. Okay, let's try. <laughs> All in all, 
this at home sushi experiment was very good I'm exhausted it's been a challenge but we did it it was accomplished we got this <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more cooking videos like this oh my gosh our sushi came out so good I can't wait for our next cooking video <laughs> thank you so much for watching have a good one bye Look at this, I made this. This is an accomplishment for me. I'm so happy. <laughs> Did I just burp? <laughs> we made sushi, we made sushi, we made sushi. Who am I gonna share this sushi with? Damn, I got so much sushi. You guys should come over and have some sushi with me. Sushi, come on, have sushi with me. Have sushi with me right now. Have some sushi. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um.